sometimes come across a story about meat that is so important, so dare I say, juicy, <laughs> that we give that story its own meanwhile subsegment, Meatwhile. If you've ever said you're so hungry you could eat a woolly mammoth, well, you might be in luck. A startup in Australia has revealed a meatball of prehistoric proportions. Yep, it's a meatball made from a woolly mammoth. I'm begging for you to bring up the meatball. A company called Vow. 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 An Australian cultured meat startup used genetic information from an extinct animal. And they took the DNA sequence from a mammoth muscle protein and filled in the gaps with cells from an elephant, the mammoth's closest living relative. When replicated, it grew to 20 billion cells, resulting in 14 ounces of meat. It's actually starting a pretty important dialogue. So why choose the, the, the mammoth, I guess? Because mammoths are a symbol of diversity loss and climate change. We need to find a more humane and sustainable way to grow meat. We can't continue to eat the, the way that we have, and we have to find um, alternatives. We actually made a mammoth meatball. <laughs> Do you like to eat a woolly mammoth? This meatball is made out of extinct mammoth meat. Rarely grown cultured meat from the cells of a woolly mammoth. Would you eat a woolly mammoth meat? Place it in myoblast stem cells from a sheep. Would you eat a meatball made from mammoth? 20 billion cells. That's definitely a bit unique. Instead of killing an animal. Instead of more sustainable. You guys try the meat from the cells. Historic meat. I would eat the meatball. DNA. They recreated people, so it would be a miss of us to make it straight. Who's mm -hmm. craving a prehistoric oh, meal? Future of modern food. They achieved what they wanted to. They we did. We're talking. We're talking about their mammoth meatball. Yes.